have weather. And I'd be like, why? What were you guys thinking? And we're just like, I don't know. It seemed great at the time. Yeah. Welcome to Get Teched, where today I'm going to teach you how to become a weather overlord. I'm Elizabeth, and today we're going to experiment with the Dark Sky API. Not to be confused with the dark web. Those are very different. Are you ready for this? Hell yeah! Before we get started, why don't you subscribe to our channel and like this video? I've got time. I'll wait. Good? Done? All right, let's get started. Dark Sky specializes in forecasting and visualization. One of the coolest things of darksky.net is their weather API that allows you to get weather information from anywhere in the world. And I'm not just talking about is it sunny or is it going to rain. Their API can tell you apparent temperature, atmospheric pressure, dew point, cloud cover, humidity, precipitation probability, precipitation intensity, the moon phase, ozone, the nearest storm distance, snowfall, sunrise, sunset, the actual temperature, a weather summary, the UV index, wind gust, wind speed, wind direction. I don't even know if I named it all, but that's a lot. It's everything you need to be able to control the weather. Uh, I mean, become an all-knowing weather master. The thing that I like about the Dark Sky API is that it uses longitude and latitude rather than just putting in a city name. That gives you more accurate information for your location than if you're just entering your city. Their API has two types of calls, a call for the current weather and a call for past conditions or future forecasting. So think about this. Your smart thermostat wants to know what to set the temperature of your house for the day. So it looks at the forecast and sets accordingly. Or your self-driving car wants to know when the next storm is coming in so it knows to roll your windows up so your car doesn't get drenched. That's the future of IoT, and weather data is gonna play a huge part in that. The best part of Dark Sky API? You get 1,000 API calls per day for free. Yeah, for free every day. And that's a lot. All you have to do is sign up, you get a secret access API key, and you're ready to access the Dark Sky API. Let's give it a try. Go to your account page, and on your account page, you'll see a sample URL call. It already has your API key loaded in it and some longitude and latitude, probably for Los Angeles. If you wanna change that, you can go look up the longitude and latitude on Google Maps and put that into the URL instead. Now paste that into an address bar and press enter. And then you're gonna see all of the weather data on that page. But it's gonna look a little bit jumbled and clustered. So what I do is I copy all that data, I go to a JSON formatter and put it in there. And then it'll look like this, clear, concise, readable. Now you can see that APIs don't have to be scary. You just use an API without writing a single line of code. That's pretty cool. I'm going to show you how to use the Dark Sky API to send the data to initial state. You can do this on your personal computer or a Raspberry Pi, but a Pi is preferable because it can stay plugged in and constantly running. First thing you're gonna do is go to the initial state GitHub page and go to the Dark Sky project. You'll find the link below in our description. First thing you wanna do is clone the project files. So you're gonna type in git clone, and then it'll be GitHub, initial state, darksky.git, there'll be some HTTP in there. All of the instructions are on the wiki. Once cloned, you can go to the Dark Sky directory by doing cd dark sky. In there, you can see the files by typing in the command ls. So you're gonna wanna install the initial state Python module using the curl command. The exact command you should use is on the wiki, so copy and paste that into your terminal and run that. It's going to run and it'll ask you if you want to use an example script. So put y for yes, It'll ask you if you wanna use the default location, just press enter. The next question is gonna be, are you using legacy product or the new IoT? If you've signed up recently, it's gonna be option two, the new IoT. So put in number two, hit enter, and then you'll be asked to put in your username and password. And once that's done, you're ready to go. So what this is gonna do is create an example file for you to stream data to the initial state website. File is gonna be called is underscore example, it's already gonna have your access key in there, so you can just run the file using python is underscore example.py. 
and then go to your dashboard and you can see the stream data there. Now that you've got your streamer working, we're gonna wanna open up the dark sky file. So do nano dark sky dot py. You'll see that all the code is already there, but there are some things you need to change. You're gonna need to update the city name, the longitude and latitude, put in your initial state access key, put in your dark sky API access key, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. Once you get that saved, you're gonna run using python dark sky dot py. So what our code is doing is sending a request to the Dark Sky API and that returns a JSON object. We take that JSON object data and put it into a multi-dimensional array. The data is based on the input you put for longitude and latitude. What I want you to do is take some time and look around in the code. What you'll see is that we take the moon phase and we map that to different emojis. Same thing with the wind direction. You'll also see that we look into the array and we pull data information and send it to initial state. We give you the tools to be able to do this, but there's a lot you can change and add in and do from here. So play around and learn a little bit. Once you learn to use this API, it will help with others that are a lot like it. Anything as a value that gets sent in will be automatically tile typed as a line graph. What I did was change anything that's supposed to be percentage to gauge. I changed the actual temperature to a summary. I messed with all the colors of my line graphs and gauges, and I moved stuff around so it was a layout that I liked. There is probably millions of combinations you could do for this, so play around and find what you like best. I went from my dashboard being all line graphs to this. This dashboard is great to be able to visualize weather details daily, but you can also set up triggers to notify you on certain weather conditions. I have a trigger set that anytime the precipitation probability is above 50%, I get a text message. That way when I wake up in the morning, I know whether I should walk to work or not. Because if it's raining cats and dogs, I don't want to step in a poodle. If you have indoor sensors in your house, you can stream that data into the same bucket and you can have both an indoor and outdoor weather dashboard. Now, you can become the evil villain you've always wanted to be and control the weather. If you like this video, please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and share with your friends. Comment below on what projects you want to see next, and make sure to share your weather dashboards with us on Twitter. Until next time, stay dry. I have no idea what else to say. That's the best I came up with. Stay dry. That's not good. I've used up all my jokes. Eh.